Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey guys, let's break down this at bat real quick. This is Max Meyer on the mound for the Gophers, University of Minnesota. He's in third overall pick of yesterday's draft in the first round by the Florida Marlins. He is facing Adley Rashman, who is the number one overall pick last season to the Baltimore Orioles. So big at bat, big moment. Uh, Minnesota's up by one, top six. It is the Super Regional last season. So you have a stud arm versus a stud prospector. Somebody who probably already knew he was going to be number one overall hitting for Oregon State. So let's go through this pitch by pitch, and you're really going to see why Max is highly regarded as an arm, even though he's not a giant. He's six foot. Um, but in today's world, I mean, you got guys out there like Sonny Gray, like Marcus Stroman. I mean, these guys are studs as well. So size isn't everything in baseball and even though six foot is a good size some of these elite arms nowadays are like six 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 seven but he i i love his stuff uh, he touches 100 miles an hour and believe it or not he's going to strike out adley on four pitches without even showing him a fastball so let's go pitch by pitch real quick so first pitch of the bat is one of my favorite pitches that breaking ball down and in back foot so righty versus left, or if you're a left-handed pitcher versus a right-handed hitter, this is a very effective pitch because it looks like a fastball right away. Again, I told you he touches 100 miles an hour. So we're talking 96 plus that Adley has to prepare for. And he sees this out of the hand at a low trajectory out of the hand. It doesn't hump out of the hand, this slider. So he could have been just seeing fastball. He reacts as if he's ready for a fastball because he's way out in front of this pitch. The ball just disappears and goes right underneath the barrel. This is a super, super high-quality pitch. It's an elite pitch in an elite location to an elite hitter. Um, a lot of elites there. But if you're able to throw this pitch consistently to professional hitters, you're going to have a lot of success, particularly since it's 87 miles an hour. That's a freaking hook right there. A really, really strong pitch by Meyer with that down and in slider one of my favorites I also like this with the cutter as well one thing I don't like and it's not even about Meyer like check out the catcher he's so high I, I, I know there's a runner on first with nobody out right now and he could be a, a fast runner but I, I just I don't know much about Oregon State but I feel like I highly doubt I'm trying to steal a bag with my best hitter at the plate but really high stance by the catcher I freaking hate it Anywho, great pitch. So let's move on to pitch number two of the at-bat. So we have something that backs up here. Seems to be his changeup. It's a 92 miles an hour um, changeup. Yep, 92 mile an hour changeup. Again with the catcher. Like, get down, brother. Um, 92 mile an hour changeup. Just like super, super elite stuff. So let's get that pitch again. Uh, he locates it well. Uh, since it's being taken, you see you see Adley, like, he has really good posture. The hitter, really good posture, sees that pitch coming in. I feel like he recognizes this a little bit. That's not a fastball. But you see how he's kind of, like, pulling off to his right, the hitter? To me, that sh tells me that he's just he's waiting for the heater, um, particularly after that first swing. He's just waiting for the heater this entire bat. So that gets there a strike two. We move on. We get a breaker in the dirt. Good layoff by Adley. Um... But again, something soft, something tight, it's a slider. It's a really, really good slider. So really good take by the hitter. But again, I'm still thinking that he just has a game plan where he's thinking, well, i got to get the fastball eventually. Uh, who knows how the first two at-bats of this game went. It is the sixth inning. Maybe it was a fastball-heavy dose that Adley was seeing. Who knows? But he's definitely sitting on a, he on a heater in this at-bat because that's a pretty calm layoff. Um, for somebody that uh, that is looking for a heater. But good job by Adley there. But an effective pitch on 0-2. Move on to the final pitch of this at bat, and it's just another breaker that Adley is way out in front of. And you see there, you see the barrels crossing the zone um, as the ball is still out in front of the plate. So really, really great pitch. Uh, manipulating the fact that he wants to chase or wants to be on time on the heater. Uh, that seems to be the concept of this at bat, 
But it seems to me, I mean, this 87-mile-an-hour slider is going to be a go-to pitch for him and the bigs for Max Meyer. I really, really like that pitch. It's really tight. It has a low trajectory to it. It doesn't hump out of the hand. It's going to be really hard to recognize. He's going to be able to tunnel that pitch with his fastball incredibly effectively in the major league or at the professional ranks. And hopefully we see him in the major leagues pretty soon. But really good game plan. I don't know if Minnesota calls pitches from the dugout, but four pitches, all of them soft, to a hitter that appeared to be really aggressive towards a fastball again if we look run this back one more time get that slider down and in that he's out in front it dives in that blind zone then you get a change up that we lay off again and a breaker down in the zone layoff and the breaker again he's out in front so really really good sequence here never really showing off or showcasing his 100 mile an hour fastball but if he has the ability to attack hitters like Adley Rauschman like this with four consecutive off-speed pitches with a runner on first, nobody out, up by one, top of the sixth inning super regional, high pressure, high leverage situation. I have a good feeling that he's going to be pretty successful, at least in his minor league stints, and I'm hoping that we get to see him in the major leagues at some point. If you like this video, if you thought you learned something from it, do me a favor, support the channel by smashing that subscribe button, like, share, comment. Appreciate it, and I will see everybody next time.